The most powerful pool heating option is a gas heater. It has the power to heat up your pool quickly and effectively, even in colder temperatures. But there are a few drawbacks and it doesn't come cheap. So here's everything that you need to know about gas pool heaters and whether or not they're worth it. Let's dive in. Real quick, before we continue, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help you keep your pool clean and clear all season long. So first, how does a gas pool heater work? Well, gas pool heaters use either natural gas or propane to heat your water. Your pool pump sends water into your filter and then onto your heater. That pool water passes through the heater while a combustion chamber burns gas and warms the water. Finally, that warm water is sent back to your pool. Because it uses an outside fuel source, gas pool heaters can heat your pool water even in cooler weather. And that makes them one of the most popular and most powerful kinds of pool heaters out there. Now, what are the different types of gas pool heaters? There are natural gas pool heaters and liquid propane pool heaters. If you don't have natural gas or you can't install a natural gas line, you'll have to use a propane pool heater. And that means buying a large propane tank and installing it in your backyard. A low NOx gas heater is designed to release low emissions, which makes them more efficient and will heat your pool more quickly. And these types of low emission heaters are required in some states. Now, what size gas heater should you buy? When it comes to heaters, the bigger, the better. The bigger the energy output capacity measured in BTUs, the more efficiently it can heat up your pool water. A larger pool heater will generate the same BTUs in a shorter period of time compared to a smaller heater. Smaller heaters are best for maintaining warm temperatures, whereas larger heaters will raise your pool temperature quickly and efficiently. Just make sure that your plumbing and gas meter can deliver the amount of gas that you need to run your size heater. Now, before you buy a gas heater, it's also good to know the distance from the gas meter to where the heater will be installed. Even if you've sized the heater correctly, depending on the distance from the meter, the gas line size may not support the heater. So be sure to contact your utility company to get more information. Now, how long does it take to heat your pool with a gas heater? Well, gas heaters are the fastest way to heat a pool, but it all depends on the size of your pool and your heater. A powerful gas heater can heat up your water by one degree Fahrenheit in one hour. Unlike pool heat pumps, gas heaters should not be run all of the time, and you only need to run it when you wanna swim. For example, if you only wanna swim on the weekend, you can run your gas heater from Friday to Sunday, heating up your water only on the days you need it. If you wanna keep more heat in the pool, you can add a solar pool cover to your pool to help reduce heat evaporation, especially at night. And that means less time running your gas heater. Also, gas pool heaters are the only way to heat up your pool water if the temperatures are at 60 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Pool heat pumps will not heat up your water in cooler temperatures. So how much does a gas pool heater cost? Well, a new in-ground pool gas heater can cost several thousand dollars depending on the size, type, and brand. But they tend to be less expensive than pool heat pumps. However, it can cost a lot more to operate a gas pool heater than a heat pump. Your day-to-day -day operating cost depends on the size of your pool, your water temperature settings, and the cost of the utilities in your area, like natural gas. But typically, the cost to run a natural gas heater can range from $300 to $600 per month. And if you need to run a new gas line, well, that can cost anywhere from $300 to $1,000. Finally, gas pool heaters take more maintenance and don't last as long as pool heat pumps. So you'll wanna factor in the cost of maintaining and replacing your gas pool heater. So now that you know how it works, is a gas pool heater worth it? Well, here are the pros to getting a gas pool heater. It heats the water quickly. It works in colder temperatures, meaning you can extend your pool season and swim all year round. The unit itself tends to be cheaper than a pool heat pump. And here are the cons of a gas pool heater. Gas can be very expensive. It can be expensive to run a gas line if you don't already have one, or you might need to buy a huge propane tank to put in your backyard. It's not as eco-friendly as a heat pump, and it has a shorter lifespan and can cost more to maintain. So, should you get a gas pool heater? Well, if you live in a colder climate and you want on-demand heat, a gas pool heater is the way to go. 
But if you live in a warmer climate and you wanna save some money and energy in the long run, a pool heat pump might be a better option. Finally, if you need more help taking care of your pool throughout the season, grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again, and happy swimming.